it's going to be very uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think also just to let the viewers know, it's not just over Gauteng. So the central and eastern parts of the northwest as well, northern free state, high fault of Mpumalanga, and the southwestern uh, bush fault of Limpopo. So when we're talking um, a, a heat wave over South Africa, so the South African Weather Service issues the warnings. And the threshold that they work with, we take the, the average of the hottest month in a year for a particular town, let's say Johannesburg, the uh, average of the hottest month is 28. Mm. And then if a temperature uh, meets or exceeds it by five degrees, so working with 33 onwards for three days, then it's a heat wave. Ah. Yes. So South African work, Weather Service works on that. And this is the map of the thresholds that they use. I know it's not visible, but just to give you an idea, obviously the Northern Cape will be a scorcher either way. I mean, up until hottest month, they reach 40. And, and that's because like, of the average heat. Yes, right. the average heat of the hottest month. So looking at maybe January for up in Tim for us here as well. So we look at that at five degrees to it. If it persists for five days, then you have a heat wave. So just to understand, oh, if in the Northern Cape, for instance, like you're saying, um, that they're, they average, they generally are a scorcher. If they mm. can average 37 at a going time mm. and then they get 37 plus five over three days, that's their heat wave. Perfect. Okay. That's exactly what you Okay, I feel smarter. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so the meteorologists at the Weather Service are refer to this map when they issue in the heat waves. So that's what's been happening for us. I mean, 32 in Johannesburg, that's hot for us, but not too hot in Appington, for mm, instance. Mm. So you work with individual cities to issue the warnings. Yeah, but yes. 36 is still a lot for us. 35 in, in, in Johannesburg, 38 in Pretoria. Yes. That's a lot. What do we do? I mean, there's a desperate, we're, we're desperate to stay cool it's, at this point. It's very hot. And I think for us here, you know, we at work and you're always like, ah, oh, I'm at work, but we've got air conditioning. Mm. So we always say stay indoors, well ventilated. If you don't have an aircon, just open up some windows, uh, lots of water, avoid working outside, um, dress cool, light clothing. Um, and then the guys uh, earlier uh, at morning, like I was telling them, drink plenty of liquors, but I'm not talking about alcohol. That dehydrates. That dehydrates you and you right. can suffer a heat stroke. Uh, people take for granted, they're like, no, but I can't have a cool Nyana one. No, you cannot. Uh, cool uh, water, uh, keep hydrated. And then children as well. Don't let your kids play outside um, at the hottest time of the day. Usually around five o'clock in the afternoon should be uh, much better. And then of course our elderly and infants, more vulnerable, so take extra precaution with them. Okay, yeah. really good points. I, I, I had to bring this up because I think every time we talk about extreme weather patterns, um, generally there's you know this bigger conversation now that's happening around climate change and whether or not we're seeing this sort of thing because of, of, of climate change. Um, is, is this a factor? It can be, in a lady, but it's also keeping in mind that not a lot of research has gone into it, but uh, climate scientists and meteorologists have been talking on the topic of, yes, we see more severe weather events and um, the frequency of it as well is is more. I mean, uh, the, the past few years now we've been hearing of tornadoes, of things that back in the day you'd only hear of one once in a while, you know. Mm. So they're, they're arguing that the frequency of uh, severe weather event, events are more and the severity of it is um, also escalated, especially for us, the general public. I mean, taking a look at what happened in KZN, people argue that it was climate change. Um, the floods. Yes, the yeah. floods. So we, we cannot say, no, it's not climate change, but not every severe event is going to be a cause of climate change. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long are we in this position? So for us, uh, over Gauteng, for the western parts of Mpumalanga and southwestern Bushveld of Limpopo is just until today. So tomorrow we're seeing a temperature of 30, which I think is lovely. That's um, that's 33 that's in Pretoria yeah. and then but it's still continuing until Thursday for northern parts of the free state as well as the northwest so and they're in, still in for it yeah well this yeah. is the thing is that it, it's only October also so there's the concern that mm. going closer and closer to December mm. we must expect yes. more extreme weather there will be yeah. there will be I mean you can't take away from the fact that we'll have heat waves again uh, when the systems allow yeah. we'll have your severe thunderstorms caused by the heat in some instances so we can't take it off uh, the table at all